Hey everybody, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day you're watching today. Sasha here. Day 10 of the month of iced tea. So we are definitely a third of the way in this month, y'all. 10 days. And to commemorate the 10th day of month of iced tea 2019, I have this. An open bottle of the drink I was going to try today. That's okay. I didn't sample it. My mother did, unfortunately. So, you know, we'll just leave it. You know, whatever. It is what it is. It's open, so I'm going to have to sample it now. Alright, so this is... You're probably wondering what this funky green coloring is all about. So recently, or maybe not so recent, I'm not sure when exactly Brisk did this, or Lipton slash Brisk, um, but they came out with a bunch of new flavors in these artist inspired, inspired excuse me, um, bottle designs, and what they were were pretty much iced tea or Arnold Palmer mixtures. So I actually went to Walmart um, a couple days back and I did a grocery pickup. Now, unfortunately, I didn't get all of the flavors and I probably won't be doing this every day. I'm going to like back to back, but I'll spread these out because there are quite a few of them, ladies and gentlemen. So... I'll mix this in with another tea collection that I have. As of right now, I only have four. And there's like eight or something. But, folks, let me tell you. I've had the sweet tea. And I've had their tea lemonade. So I'm just excluding those two. Those are pretty much, you know, bare bones. I, I know what to expect with those flavors. So I uh, and also um the traditional brisk, which was lemon flavored iced tea. So I'm not gonna bother with those three, but there are plenty more where that came from, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I got this from my Dollar Tree. Surprisingly, it was like. A little sketch because there was only one of these available. So I just grabbed it. But still, I mean, it's been sitting in my fridge for like, I don't know, over a month for sure. <laughs> I was waiting to do this. Yeah, I was waiting to do this. It, does, it goes bad, quote unquote goes bad, in July. So we're still good. It's going to be consumed by then. So this is iced tea plus watermelon lemonade. I thought, holy cow, that's pretty slick. Haven't had this flavor. And I'm not going to ask my mom how this tasted because she got to the bottle first. But yeah, like I said, there's a lot more of these flavors with the artist-inspired artist labels. Artist design labels, whatever, which are pretty cool, pretty funky. This particular one was done by Clever Alvarado. Okay, never heard of him. Then again, I'm not one for the arts. But pretty cool. Um, these labels have something to do with the flavors. As you see this octopus or Cthulhu monster. Rip it apart a watermelon on one side and then iced tea. Nothing much on that side. So yeah, this is a Arnold Palmer. A different kind of Arnold Palmer, which I am very excited to try. Uh, yeah, got this from the Dollar Tree. This was a dollar for one liter. Uh, this, ooh. I'm going to try not to. I guess I should. Um... Okay, four servings, 32 ounces, a quart, a liter, um, 
So we're talking, I'm not even consuming the whole thing. So it would be for the whole thing, it would be around 180 calories, which isn't too bad. Like there are sodas, which you don't get, you don't get the liberty to have 180 calories of soda and have this big a soda, you know? So let's see, folks. Zero fat, 80 milligrams of sodium, total carbs, 12, of which 12 grams are sugar, zero protein, not a significant source of other nutrients, and <clears throat> ingredients include water, high fructose corn syrup, that's a given with Lipton and mass-produced um, beverages made here in America for the most part. It's going to have that high fructose corn syrup, citric acid, clarified lemon juice, concentrate, natural flavor, potassium citrate, potassium, or excuse me, sodium, polyphosphates, uh, green tea, potassium sorbate, phosphoric acid, gum, no, gum arabic, Ascorbic acid, ACE K, that's one of the ones I mentioned yesterday that may, you know, that are man made chemicals, and, you know, I don't really care for it. But that's why the calorie content is so low because of that ACE K. Sucralose, another one. Xanthan gum, glycerol ester of rosin. Calcium disodium, EDTA, yellow 5, blue 1. Those are FD, um, FDCA food coloring. Okay, so quite the concoction we're having here, but let's just try it because I actually wanted to try this flavor, y'all. So here we go, bottoms up. Ooh, smells very fragrant. After all that I've tasted so far with the um, buy and what else have I tasted? Yeah. Well, I even forgot. But like the two teas that I've made and then some other stuff. Ugh, I'm so not used to the high fructose corn syrup. Well, I'm used to it, but it's like I'd rather not have it. Because anytime I drink, um, consume a drink that has high fructose corn syrup, I feel like I immediately need to chase it down with water. It's just so sickeningly sweet. It's really overwhelming and it's quite the shock to my taste buds. And that's how it's going to be when I try. <laughs> I have to get that out of my head, folks. But that's gonna that's how it's going to be when I try these brisk drinks in which that's what they're pumped with and then the ace k or asulfame potassium and sucralose that doesn't help matters as those um components are like overly sweet like if brisk were to like take those two out or even just use regular sugar, I feel as though this would have a better mouthfeel. And it wouldn't be so overwhelmingly sweet. You know what I'm saying? It really just tastes like watermelon lemonade. I don't get an inkling of iced tea at all. They said, they said green tea was a part of the components, but I'm not really getting that. <laughs> See, the watermelon... The sweetness are so overpowering that you should have just called this watermelon lemonade. And I'd have been like, oh, okay, well, yeah, I get it. But, yeah, they call this half and half. Not really getting that. Let's just jump right into the verdict, shall we? In the case of 
brisk half and half iced tea and watermelon lemonade out of my rating scale of good okay bad i would have to rate this an okay i know it could be done better and it's to the point where i almost want to rate it a bad because i'm so i'm so used to using either real sugar Stevia, or just no sweetener, or a combination of sugar, well, in terms of sweetness, a combination of Stevia, sugar, honey, um, and that's about it. So, yeah, I'm bummed about how, how sweet this tastes. Like, if I have to chase this with water, mm -mm. It's, a, it's a big no-no for me. I mean, it has the potential to be great, and I like these kinds of drinks. But, I don't even taste the tea portion. Like, if you're trying to be an Arnold Palmer, I should taste both the iced tea and the watermelon lemonade. But watermelon lemonade in itself is pretty complex in that I feel as though it would be difficult to bring out that tea flavor. Now, Lipton makes a good green tea. You know, Lipton, Lipton Brisk, they're one and the same pretty much. But I was surprised that Lipton couldn't do a... Or bring out more of that green tea. Because they do have a pretty good green tea. Um, bottle green tea. And um, it's citrus flavored. But. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is. I mean, it's a dollar. But. You know, if I tasted some form of tea. In this. Oh, I would have. It would have been a good. Even my with my disdain for. Sucralose, asulf, asulfame, I gotta say that right, asulfame, potassium, and high fructose corn syrup, I still would have let it pass. Because I do like certain drinks that have those components in it, mainly the Clear American uh, Walmart brand of sparkling waters. That's like a guilty pleasure of mine. And I would, um, you know, put aside the fact that, okay... Yeah, it's got those daggone sweeteners in it, but it still tastes good. This doesn't have, like, to me, an inkling of tea. It just straight up tastes like a watermelon lemonade. A very, very sweet watermelon lemonade. In fact, too sweet. I know of a better... I know of a better watermelon lemonade um, coming from Publix's Greenwise line. It tastes divine. But this is way too sweet. And I can't taste the tea company. That in itself is like pretty much three strikes, you know. If the label doesn't really say what it tastes like, then, you know, it's a big, I, you know, it's a big frowny face for me. Like, really? You might as well just call it watermelon lemonade. I think I've harped on that enough. And it's a perfect time to cut for today's episode episode 10 down and 20 more to go so join me tomorrow which is tuesdays with the tea and day 11 of the month of iced tea in which we will be going to a different sort of tea product i'm actually excited to try this and it's kind of pricey um You'll see what I mean when I reveal the product. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed making this video. And, you know, any questions, comments, suggestions, or small talk, don't be a stranger. Leave it in my comment section below. And you know, I welcome, greatly appreciate it. Have you tried these sort of drinks from Brisk? Do you like them? Do you not like them? Do you share the same sentiment as me as... This is kind of like really sweetened, concocted juice beverage. 
I wouldn't even say juice, like just a sweetened concoction of a beverage. And, you know, do you wish that brisk would like eliminate the high fructose corn syrup, the potassium, the potassium asulfame or asulfame potassium. I keep saying it wrong too. Um, and sucralose. You know, let me know. Do you, do you just wish they used regular good old sugar? And, uh, it, like, if they eliminated those three things and just put in sugar, I bet you this would taste a world of difference. This would be much better in my to my palate versus what's in there already. Alrighty, folks. So, I'm going to let you go. See you tomorrow. Hope you got over those Monday blues. Thank you very much for tuning in again. And until next time, see you. And bye now.